Continuing our study through the Beatitudes in Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, today we're going to be looking at Matthew 5 and verse 7. There Jesus said, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And as Christians, we have a responsibility and a desire to pattern our lives after Christ. And when Jesus was hung on a cross, he did so for us, the, the sinner. And while he was there, suspended between heaven and earth, he had this to say, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Can you imagine going through something even remotely close to what Jesus did and asking for them to be forgiven? You know, we have trouble forgiving someone who cuts us off in traffic. Christ's desire was for them to be shown mercy for what they had done to him. And through Christ's sacrifice, we ourselves have been shown mercy, even though we're sinners. And our response naturally to this realization of being poor in spirit, like we've talked about previously, should be for us to show that same kind of mercy to those who do us wrong. And this is played out in the parable that Jesus gave of the unforgiving servant. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to seventy times seven. Therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. And when he had begun to settle accounts, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents. But as he was not able to pay, his master commanded that he be sold with his wife and children and all that he had, and that payment be made. The servant therefore fell down before him, saying, Master, have patience with me, and I will pay you all. Then the master of that servant was moved with compassion, released him, and forgave him the debt. But the servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, who owed him a hundred denarii. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down at his feet and begged him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay you all. And he would not, but went and threw him into prison till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what had been done, they were very grieved and came and told their master all that had been done. Then his master, after he had called him, said to him, You wicked servant! I forgave you all the debt because you begged me. Should you not have also had compassion on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And his master was angry and delivered him to the torturers until he should pay all that was due to him. So my heavenly Father also will do to you if each of you from his heart does not forgive his brother his trespasses. Through this parable, I want us to realize that the beatitude that Jesus gave in the Sermon on the Mount about showing mercy to others is somewhat of a paradox. And the reason we show mercy to others is because we have been given mercy. But if we do not extend that mercy to others, in other words, if we don't pay it forward, if you will, mercy will not be shown to us on that final day. So let's make sure that as we go through life, we extend mercy to others who, who do us wrong. And in doing so, we become the followers of Christ that he desires us to be.